Nikki Haley faltered by entering this race to begin with. She was not popular in the Republican Party uh, when she decided to run. Uh, heck, Nikki Haley has come to my campaign in the past uh, trying to offer support and, and even donations, which I declined. Her staff was absolutely shocked that anyone would turn down a double maxed out check from her. But I didn't want Nikki Haley's support. And this was uh, years ago before she had ever considered challenging President Trump. President Trump is the leader of the Republican Party, and I cannot wait for uh, the rest of America to come back home and realize this, because under President Trump, we had no wars. We had peace through strength. Our economy was the strongest that it's been in decades. Our borders were secure. President Trump gave Americans the largest tax cut in history. He unleashed American energy so that we could stop relying on OPEC, Saudi Arabia, and even Russia for oil and gas. This is not something that Nikki Haley would do. She, none of this is any uh, policy that we could trust her uh, it, with um, with the leadership to actually secure for Americans. Uh, President Trump, because of him, we have overturned Roe v. Wade and, and his um, conservative Supreme Court justices who made that decision. And this reversal alone has already saved over 30,000 lives. Now, Nikki Haley, Grant, has a proven history of supporting globalist policies and being pro-war. Instead of wasting millions trying to beat President Trump and sending young Americans to fight someone else's war, Haley should back out and put her support behind President Trump and quit wasting the American voters' time.